Kilo for the win, bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video. Today what I have for you guys is three separate 137 minion attacks. So I'm actually going to be attacking a pretty strong base for this first attack. I'm attacking a Town Hall 10 that actually does have both Infernos. I wanted to see how strong these minions are, what they're actually capable of, and whatnot. So on this raid, I'm actually going to come with three raid spells, one free spell, my queen, Obviously, my clan castle troops did contain minions. They contained 17 minions and 120 minions in my army camp, which resulted in the maximum amount of minions. So I wanted to do all-out minion attacks for you guys. Once I got them to level 6, I figured it would be pretty awesome if I did that. Also, one thing that I do want to point out in this video is I'm going to be doing a 3-star with every troop um, starting out with the minions today. And... What I do here is I show the fails in me just trying to farm people, and then the, in the last raid, I actually do get the three star. So I wanted to show the raids leading up to it because I did spend a lot of elixir on this. I did spend a good bit of time waiting, and it was a pretty awesome raid in my opinion nonetheless. I did not three star this guy. I think I ended with about 74%. I think I ended right, nope, 75, and then I go ahead and end the battle once my queen starts to get attacked. So unfortunately, I didn't get the loot bonus there. I was not in the league yet, so I didn't get the loot bonus, but no big deal. We're going to go ahead and skip to the next raid where I actually am in a league, and I will get the pretty sweet, awesome loot bonus that you do get in Crystal 2 League. So one thing that I want to talk about is that loot has been really hit or miss lately, and apparently with these level 12 collectors coming, Supercell claims that they will be doing things to balance out the economy and make loot better in game which is a really wonderful thing hopefully i'll start finding these million in loot raids again because loot's been pretty scarce lately and i haven't found anything uh anything 700k or more in about a week or two and that's really uncommon for me especially whenever i'm skipping and searching for loot and these minion raids i really did search a lot to try to find some loot and i just wasn't finding anything i wasn't able to come up with too much uh, this was honestly the most that I could find. But right here, this these minions were going absolutely ham in the center of the base. I wish I would have dropped a little bit more towards the center. But as you can see here, I thought I was going to three-star this guy up until about the end. I actually thought I was going to three-star the last guy too. Uh, this guy did have a couple of air traps that smashed my minions on both of the raids. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and drop the free spell on that air defense. And I was hoping that my minions would make it to that, but they don't quite make it because, or they do make it, but it's too late by then because there's only a few of them left. So on this raid, we're going to get up to 82%. I went for the two star, but my minions were out. They were in reach of that archer tower, so I was unable to destroy that, which was kind of sucky. But still, I did manage to get about 500k in total on this raid, a little bit under that. So that's pretty solid if you ask me. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the last raid where I actually do get the three star on this one. So my strategy switched up on this one. Now that I had my Barbarian King, I decided to drop both my Barb King and my Archer Queen and try to go ahead and dig into one part of the base, destroy a bunch of buildings, and build a path for my minions to get to the air defense a little bit easier. So there was one thing that was pretty strange about this Town Hall 9 that I did notice. He only had three air defense. Like I sat there looking at it for like 20 seconds when I was recording. I deleted the recording, then I went back into the raid and, and started recording again because I was like, okay, 100% confirmed, he only has three air defense, you're getting three star, like I'm about to smash this guy. And even though he does have level six air defense, it doesn't matter because all of the air defense are going to one shot the minions. They did not make the minions strong enough to be not one shot by air defense at level six. So it doesn't matter what level the air defense are, it just matters about their position. So one thing about this bait or this raid that makes it pretty cool is that the air defense were in the center of the base, so you would expect it to be a bit harder to three star him. But once my minions do get into the center of the base, I drop that raid spell and a free spell, and they absolutely demolish everything in the center of this guy's base. And under the influence of the raid spell, they're absolutely just wrecking him. And from here on out, there's literally no more air defense, only one archer tower. Basically an easy 3 star, and I think that my heroes did help me out a good bit in this raid, but I think the minions just absolutely went to town. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a comment on what you want to see next for this 3 star with every troop series. I'll probably start out at the bottom at Barbarians and just go down and 
cups a little bit, maybe the gold one or something, to make sure I can get the three stars. But anyways, other than that, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.